Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Do Bonsai. This is going to be part three of the current series. It's currently uh, Sunday morning, about 7 a.m. Um, we're up and about and ready to get started. Uh, we're gonna work on the seedlings from the kits that we grew uh, over the last couple of years. Um, they're sat in the tray with what's left, but before we get started with that, I received a care package from our good friend Tom at uh, Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. So let's go and have a look and see what we've got from that uh, really kind gentleman that is Tom. So here we are with uh, the package from Tom. I have uh, pre-opened it and had a look inside, but it's all still wrapped up in there. Yeah, let's have a little look inside the package and see what we've got in here. Thanks Tom, once again. So there was a little note in there, which sometimes has a message on. We've got a grow near three packs, uh, training pots, and we've got YRO, arrow, yarrow, <laughs> two pieces, miniature fisherman, figurine, mini sitting fisherman, it's a fisherman. Let's uh, break into this and have a quick look. I think it's one of the mudmen type fishermen from a picture that Tom did actually send me. So I kind of got a precursor to what was coming. And I do have a, uh, a pot in the bonsai area, which has got uh, a mudman sat on the side of it. Um, so this one's come a little bit crumpled, but hopefully everything will be okay inside. We'll open it up and have a look. Hopefully it's well packaged and everything's okay. So there's our mod man. You can see he's got a his hand and there's a bit of a hole there to be able to put a, a rod in. So that's one of the mud men. <coughs> and then inside we have his fishing rod with his fish on. <clears throat> so that's going to sit in there just like that. Now I think my one in the bonsai area outside is missing its little stick, its fishing rod and its fish. So I think we'll have to make one to, uh, to complete him. So we'll just check out our second fisherman. I believe they call them mud men. I'm calling them mud men, but uh, I might be totally wrong. So there he is. Um, they're identical, so that's cool. They could go as a, uh, you know, make up a, a bit of a penjing or something for some fishing area. Maybe the bit where me and uh, Tom are going to finally, when we finally get round to it. We're going to create a, uh, a water themed uh, penjing. So uh, these guys will probably do really well sitting at the water's edge fishing. Maybe a little jetty, a wooden jetty going out onto the uh, into the water area. Uh, maybe not too big, but on one side of the penjing, a nice tree for these to these guys to sit under and then a jetty going out into the, the water area when we create it. I think it'll look quite nice. It's a bit of an idea, who knows. So there, thanks Tom. And then we've got some training boxes. Always come in handy, these things. Um, I'll just grab some scissors. Be a bit easier with a pair of scissors. We'll just cut into this. Oh, it's like an early Christmas. Tom really spoils uh, me and uh, he, he spoils Nigel and uh, he, he's really kind and really generous is, is our Tom. So uh, I do like to, to get things back from time to time. So it's always been my privilege to send something back to Tom. So there's the training pots. They're nice looking pots, you know, um, they come with the pre-made drainage screen inside so you don't need to mess about too much so there's three of those 
and then we've got some ID sticks which these are going to be brilliant these it was worth this package just for the identity tags and there's quite a few of those uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. 15 tags and I'll be able to uh, use a sharpie or something and write on those with dates and names etc of what we're doing and they'll come in really handy. Thanks again Tom. We also get a humidity tray with each of these and you know considering you know they're plastic and they're they're meant to be quite cheap and cost effective the design of them I think is really nice and really cool looking you know you sit it there and from a distance you could almost get away with it being you know a, a, a good pot a decent pot uh, it's only as you get closer to them that you realize oh hang on a minute this is plastic or whatever and you know we'll reuse and reuse these constantly and uh, yeah that'll be great time to go into the bonsai area so we'll bring in Tom's gifts and we'll put them over here with the other pots I've got my eggshells here from another batch of 12 eggshells uh, I was given a little trick for the eggshells uh, I've probably mentioned it before and that's whenever you're cooking something uh, in the oven and it's about to you know you're going to turn it off and let it cool down stick all your eggshells in the oven and it uh, basically bakes them it cooks them and then when you try to break them up they crumble a lot easier and uh, come to smaller particles a lot better so I'm just going to drop this into the soil bin We'll get that mixed in shortly. I've also got a box of other goodies here. Uh, rolls of wire, pots, little animals, little figures and stuff. So we'll keep these down near the work area so that we can uh, you know pull the little figures out or the bits of wire as we need them. Um, I'll just bring you in to have a look at the ficus tray, I've made a tray of ficus here uh, with, uh, I carried on working on the ficus that uh, we were working on in the last episode and uh, I've just put them on, on, a, on a, a seed tray for the time being and uh, they're all in their individual pots so let's go in and have a look at those so this is the tray of uh, ficus, ficus religiosa, the sacred figs uh, as I've said before these are all grown from seed and uh, I grew them all myself and I had pretty much a 100% hit rate with them I was uh, very very impressed with uh, with how they grow and I've just put some little bits of moss dotted around it doesn't seem to be doing great I've, I've laid this active substrate uh, underneath which is this tetra active substrate it's meant for uh, for uh, fish tanks and ponds and things like that um, and it has nutrients in it to ensure optimal rooting for vigorous plant growth so it's for live plants in a fish tank um, so the rest of that if we don't have another tray like this we'll probably uh, add it to our soil mix down there so these are the pines and uh, you know larches and etc that uh, that we got out of the kits we haven't uh, they haven't lasted very well and I've not been on top of them to be honest since we did the kits uh, I've had my mind elsewhere I had a little bit of a sad moment uh, the other day the geranium um, I was moving stuff around uh, over here to get things to fit and put into place and this geranium slipped and you can see just there that part fell off and that was the part that was carrying all the flowers and all the buds apart from maybe those ones so I think it'll be time to uh, now that we've damaged and lost the leaves of the the petals of the flowers there is some new growth coming in just there you can see out of the break point 
um, but yeah it'll be time to trim that back into some form of uh, compact bonsai ready for going forward but it's got a nice bit of flower on it at the moment so we'll keep it and uh, enjoy it for what it is as long as it stays alive I called into Corinne's Greenwood Bonsai studio uh, during the week and uh, once again I couldn't stop myself from buying some new pots so I got this one here for £15 it's a, a nice oval shallow pot I bought with these in mind um, but then I also got a larger oval pot uh, it's a nice green olive colour nice and shiny nicely finished so I'm hoping to maybe put some sort of forest planting in there and then I also got a couple of pairs of the Greenwood bonsai scissors um, they're a nice nice pair of scissors very cheap uh, you can buy these from Greenwood bonsai for uh, I think they're about 14 pounds so they're uh, I'm not left-handed but they're very easy to operate and quite satisfying when they're cutting uh, they even have the bonsai.co.uk web address on the blade so you can never forget how to uh, find Greenwood Bonsai Studio if you type in www.bonsai.co.uk you will be on the Greenwood Bonsai Studios <coughs> website the nursery but yeah um, if you're looking for a pair of scissors and you don't want to spend a, a huge amount 14 pounds you can't go wrong so we've got all the the seedlings that came out of the kits here um, and I'm just going to show you this one again the grow it bonsai trees uh, kit this was the very first kit that I actually did and somebody's given me this kit they received it as a gift and they knew that obviously I had the uh, the bonsai channel that we do and uh, he said there's absolutely no way I'm going to be um, have any time and inclination to grow this kit would you like to have it and I said well I feel a video coming on and uh, yes I will I'll, I'll definitely take it off your hands and um, maybe in about 30 years I could hand you something back if anything grows so we'll be starting that towards Christmas um, obviously people get kits like this for Christmas and uh, it will be good to start it around that period and uh, maybe we might do a little bit better out of it this time and just con concentrate on the one kit instead of having all the many kits that uh, that I was working on previously so let's have a look at uh, what we've got all the everything that we had written down has gone this I believe was uh, either a, a red bud or a, a liquid umbar it's got some fresh growth coming in there so it'll be ideal to get it out of this horrible soil that it's in and get it into some nice new soil and hopefully it will recover and grow we have a pinnace uh, from the trio kit from October 2019 so this sorry looking thing is actually three years old it has some new growth just coming out of there um, but it hasn't done a great deal and I think it needs to get out of this soil so planting that on will do great things we've got this one where the the signage has gone you can see the label used to be there um, we'll just check with the app that I use yes it's a larch oh hello you you are the bane of my life at the moment we shall be getting rid of you we've got the other pines there's a pine here that it's just sat and put out a tiny bit of growth but they do carry on living and then sporadically they grow so we'll plant all these on we've got another pinnace out of the trio kit and it i think getting it into some good soil is going to be 
good for all of these. This little pine, we haven't got the label on anymore. Uh, if we go back through the videos, we'd be able to find out what they are. Uh, this one's from Bonsai Beauties, March 10th, 2020. Uh, that was when it was potted into this pot, so it's been in here for about 18 months. And it was seeded in September 2019. It's a nice little pine. Um, it's nice and flexible, so we could put some wire on it and give it some movement. So that's interesting. And then we've got the same here. Possibly out of the same kit or different. Again, we've got the flexibility to put some movement into it, some nice growth at the top. We just need to get it out of these pots and into some new soil. And then the same again. This one's trying to, you know, do its own thing itself. We've got some barbell branches down here. Uh, even a third one coming out just there. Um, but yeah, it, the, it needs to get out and get into, uh, into another decent pot. So I wrote on it Bonsai Beauties and haven't wrote on what it is, but I think it's uh, Pinus Sylvestris maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out as we go along. Uh, this one, I've used the pot from something else and it's put out some random growth, but again, the soil that it's in isn't going to be brilliant, so we need to get it into some nice soil. Uh, I think that is some sort of weed coming out of there, but we'll check to make sure. And then this pine, we can see some buds on it, so, you know, it will it will grow. We just need to get it into that soil. Another one here, got lots of nice big juicy buds on it, but again, get it out of this soil and get it into something nice. The Pinus Trio kit, I've already looked at that one. And this one, this one will grow, you can see it's got some nice new, I say new, you know, it put a little bit of growth out, but the soil and everything that it's in is no good. So let's start by grabbing some pots and then we can start making some selections. We've got a couple of round pots there, which should do the job for a couple of them. We've got a couple of the oval pots down there which could be interesting for some of the pinus pines so we'll take those across and what other pots do we have we've got a blue round pot down there to be honest I'm not oversold with the blue pots for, for pines Let's, I've got some interesting pots into the back of there. These might be interesting. It's got a bit of a colour to it, a bit different. Maybe that one as well. Let's put something in. Uh, I won't use a shallow pot just now for those, or not too shallow a pot, because we want the roots to grow and do well. So. Um, Maybe we can think about these pots that we've got here. Yeah. So we've got our circular ones, which will be nice with, and the colour for those will match any of those pines. Um, that will match the trunk for quite a few of those pines. And the olive, you can't really go wrong with a pine with that olive colour, I don't think. So I think we'll, uh, we'll do just fine with those. So that's going to do at least four of them unless we decide to do a uh, you know these smaller ones we can maybe get a planting of three into one of these olive pots which i think we will maybe do let's prepare the two the two small pots for all oh, these cut lovely these scissors Again, these are the Greenwood Bonsai scissors. The action's really good on them, really definite, and they cut very well. So we'll just put a bit of screen into the bottom. 
get a scoop of soil scoop of soil into that one and a scoop of soil into that one so they're ready we'll just put them over to one side and I think those those pots will suit these two larger more growing pines so if we just get these out of this little pot the roots are going to thank us quite a lot for this I think we'll just pull away this soil and you can see we've got a lot of dark roots but there is actually some fresh nice root there which is strange for this time of year but we're not going to be too upset about that but yeah the roots are a bit black at the bottom and some of them are actually falling off where they've been dying off for the this period so I'm not gonna trim anything I'm not gonna force anything away we already lost a bit of root that was growing new so we'll bring in our first pot get some soil and we'll just pour that in And what I want to do is I want to allow this to establish itself and then wire it to uh, to create a bit of movement. I was going to wire these today, but I think we will um, hold off on the wiring and just allow the tree to... Uh, sort itself out because it's a nice tree it's done okay for where we're at so we'll give that a bit of water just lift our new scissors out of the way And that should be flowing through yeah the water's draining through this the drainage hole in the bottom and we'll just allow that to uh, rest and if it puts any more roots down at this time let it put down what it's going to put down failing that we'll just leave it to carry on until spring so we'll get our next pine it's been in this pot for a couple of years and we'll just knock the soil off the roots we don't want to damage it you know we just want to free the roots up the best we can give it a little bit of rake out at the bottom there see some nice fresh white root in there it's probably where it's coming here and thinks it's spring again where it's nice and warm but we'll uh, save as much of this root as possible we just need to get rid of that old soil and we'll worry about the roots going forward and what we will do is we'll get some mucus on this one the mycorrhiza inoculant and we'll just sprinkle that into the soil and around the roots and then if I can find the powder 
we also have the Asus root booster so we'll just try and get this open and just sprinkle a little bit of that powder into the root area as well get that into the pot and we'll just put plenty of soil up and around and then just work that into the roots because there are quite a few air pockets in there and it'll help trap the Mikus powders that we've put in So we left all the root on this one, we didn't take any off. I don't think we even lost any through the root breaking. The first one that we just did, we lost quite a bit of root. We didn't cut it off, it broke off and fell off. But these trees will actually feed off those roots. The roots will die off and die into the soil and it will use the root to feed and grow back. So with the mycorrhiza in there it should do really well so we'll just give that a bit of a water So we should see some water flowing out the bottom of there and you can see it dripping away. So we'll just allow that to drain through and I think we'll clean the, the tray up a bit and come back and work on some more.